Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Friday, June 16th, 2017. Welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Or News, where we bring you today's top stories, translated into English every weeknight. Democratic Party Chairman Lulzim Basha was in the city of Vlora today, where he presented the Democratic Party's program. Speaking from Vlora, where the Prime Minister is running for the mandate of Member of Parliament, the DP Chairman said that the Democratic Party's program is similar with that of the administration of the U.S. President, and according to Basha, he will take the country out of the crisis. Once again, the DP Chairman reiterated his call to the Prime Minister to confront in a public debate and present their economic programs, stating, I know he does not understand economy at all, but this is the time to go in front of the citizens and to tell them your plan. My plan for the economy is the only solution. The new republic is coming. My plan for the country's economy is similar with that of Trump. He's afraid to confront with the truth, and he thinks of finishing the campaign with lies. According to Mr. Basha, the Prime Minister does not have a balance of sheets of his achievements and that the Longomare project in, Bo in Blora has been the made for the Prime Minister's benefits. Promising tax cuts, the DP Chairman also offered a solution to the hunters, promising to remove the Prime Minister's moratorium if hu on hunting if he wins the elections. According to the DP Chairman, hunting has been prohibited in order to not to discover the plantations with cannabis. In a media outlet, the Vice Chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration, Luan Rama, declared that the SMI supporters who participated in yesterday's activities of the SMI are being threatened with their job position. Mr. Rama gave assurances that all those who were unfairly dismissed will be returned to their job after elections, stating, I have a message for all of those employees who are illegally dismissed for political revenge, and those who will be unfairly dismissed, not to worry, because they will be returned to their jobs on June 26th. Unfortunately, people who attended the SMI's activity last night are being dismissed. This is shameful and shows the fear and panic of, at the Renaissance's camp, but this makes us stronger. The Vice Chairman thanking the Minister of Interior for the commitment of Toronto's police to maintain order during the SMI's activity. The Vice Chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration reconfirmed the stance of the former Chairman of the SMI, Ilir Mehta, who will be the new President after July 24th. Mr. Mehta has declared that he will not announce the Prime Minister and Ministers if the citizens' vote is violated, declaring, Prime Minister and Ministers who will be elected from the stolen elections will not be announced. The OSCE has set some standards, which are international standards. The Albanian citizens understand, and they have their, their obligation to contribute to the realization of free and fair elect elections. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Didmir Bushati, held a meeting with the citizens of Shkodra, asking for them to vote for the Socialist Party, for change and to the return to normalcy. Mr. Bushadi stated that the citizens' vote should be a no to laziness and to the blocking tendency, which, according to him, is demonstrated by the City Hall. Mr. Bushadi, inviting all disappointed Democrats to vote for the Socialist Party in order to live in normalcy, had this to say. The Socialist Party offers a list of candidates who have no relation with the vote selling. A part of people in this area have suffered during the communist regime. If we see how the former persecuted have been treated, the facts speak clearly which party has been closer to them. The chairman of the Republican Party, Fatmir Mediu, was in the suburb area of Tirana, where he invited the citizens to vote for the Democratic Party's economic program, adding that the citizens will pay fewer taxes with this program. Mr. Mediu, expressing his belief that the Democratic Party's program will be functional, declared, we will impose a 9% flat rate tax, which will be the lowest in the region. We will reduce the value added tax to 15% in order to give Albanian people the opportunity to have 400 million euros in their pocket. We've decided to invest 150 million euro in agriculture. We will not only remove the taxes Eddie Rama imposed, but we will also impose the lowest oil price in the region. Young people who vote for the first time were also part of this meeting. The chairman of the Republican Party declared that the project of the New Republic is focused on students and the youth. The chairman of the Libra Party, Ben Belushi, has held meetings with the citizens and business owners of the city of Duras, asking them not to vote for the Socialist and Democratic Party, as according to him, they're together to keep each other in power. Mr. Belushi invited the citizens to vote for Libra Party as the only political party which, according to him, is defending the Albanian citizens from thefts and corruption, saying, 
If you have any problem voting for losing Basha, you should know that Basha takes your vote to Edi Rama as a gift to make him prime minister. They are together. Edi Rama and Lozim Basha are together. Only the Libra Party will never make him prime minister. The Central Election Commission has issued a call to political parties to submit their proposals for commissioners of voting centers today, as their training starts on Saturday. The chairwoman of the Central Election Commission said there is a positive reaction from the political parties, but there is still time for the voting centers without commissioners. Even though the Central Election Commission has continued to issue calls, the commissioners for all voting centers have not been proposed yet. The Central Election Commission is following the situation regarding the appointment of the, of the members of voting centers. There is a positive reaction from political parties after yesterday's appeal, but still we, have, we continue to have no proposals for commissioners in some voting centers, said the CEC chairwoman. The training of the commissioner will start tomorrow afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. in order to avoid any obstacle of people who work in the public administration. The significant reduction of the quantity of coffee that has entered Albania in the period of time from January to May 2017 has raised suspicions to the Minister of Finance for smuggling coffee. For this reason, the Minister of Finance has ordered a number of checks and verifications to discover the reason of the decline of the amount of coffee that has crossed the custom point, which is a decline with 500 tons of coffee compared to the quantity of coffee that has entered Albania in previous years, and when the level of tax for this product and its consumption have not changed. Foreign News has the document of the Ministry of Finance dated June 15, 2017, which has been sent to all officials of the custom points. In the letter, the minister orders a control of the operators who import coffee in Albania. According to the order, the control will be made by the Custom Points Administration in cooperation with the structure of the economic crime. Another point of the letter is the immediate identification of the quantity of imported coffee to Albania and the sale records during the last year by verification of the bills. The minister has also asked for the confirmation of the quantity of imported coffee from the Custom Points in the and the countries of origin. The minister is asking for continuous checks for this product and other products which are considered to be of, his, of high smuggling risk. At the end, the Minister of Finance asks to be informed of any preliminary as results, the conclusion of the investigation or verification, or for any response from the partner countries. Tirana's mayor, Erion Veliai, was in the area of Farca where he presented the work of City Hall in the last two years. The mayor declared that the city hall's focus will be to improve the infrastructure of the suburbs, which are no longer part of the capital after the territorial reform. The mayor announced that the ticket price for the buses of some suburban areas will be reduced after the city hall's negotiations with the urban transport operators. The mayor added that during this, the second half of its mandate, the city hall will focus its investments in the rural areas, declaring, if you know that the property value in this area has decreased due to investments made here, we plan to continue with this rhythm and to work harder in the suburb areas. The mayor, calling on the citizens of Farca and Petrela areas to vote for the Socialist Party, announced that the investments will continue only if the citizens vote for the continuation of this government. Works can be done only if you are awake. No work can be done sleeping. When the other party brings a candidate who was Tehran's mayor for four years and did nothing, and I can say that if he did nothing as mayor, he cannot do anything as prime minister. Albania needs a prime minister who is awake, someone like Edi Rama, energetic and with ideas to go through the ends of works, declared the mayor, who is recently visiting the administrative units in the capital, where he is presenting the city hall's work and investments made in the capital. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Cosmo K, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.